How has international work experience contributed to your professional development? I think that that type of experience contributes in the way that any other type of experience does. I, I think that the more diverse and the more new an experience is for me personally and in, in my role, um, the, the better I, I become. So the more I can learn about all the different ways that people are, or all the different things that are in the world, um, the better a designer that I'll be. I've been spending a lot of time in Australia lately. We have a client in Australia, and over the past three years, I've had the good fortune of going there twice to work with this client, and I'm about to go for a third time. Um, and the, the cool thing about that is I spend you know, two or three months there, which is long enough to really feel what it's like to live there. And I think that that's key. I think that um, being able to not just empathize with the people living there, but really understand some of the nuances of the culture, um, the, the linguistic things going on, um, especially in a country like Australia, where there's, they're going through a lot of things that the U.S. went through, but they're going through them now. We went through them a couple hundred years ago. So to live through some of that stuff and, and see how people rationalize things and um, it, it, it's a really fantastic experience for somebody who's responsible for then making something for them. Mm -hmm. um, and, then, and then I can bring those things back and draw parallels to things that are happening in the States or, you know, in Sub-Saharan Africa or wherever else I'm working. So, right, right. What are the, some of the changes they're going through? There's a lot of um, tension between the, the Westerners and the indigenous people. Right. You know, it's, it's very similar. It's a similar story to what we, what we had here. Um, but the, the fact that it's happening in more modern times is this additional tension yeah. um, that's going on. One of our, our students from, from AC40, one of our alumni, Ryan Hubbard, is actually working at a place called the Australian Center for Social Innovation. And a lot of work that they do is around helping kind of the aging population in Australia and then also helping some of those tensions yeah. and creating programs to help mediate some of that and mitigate it and education from, from both ways. Yeah. Because what, what I think happened there, which is what happened in a lot of other countries, is Westerners came in and tried to socially acclimate a lot of the indigenous people. And then that didn't, that didn't work. You know, there are people that aren't used to living like us. I know that there's a lot of effort going into it, but no one's figured it out yet. The, their economy down there is, fan, is doing really well. Um, and so a lot of people, and they have a pretty open immigration policy. So there's also that additional tension of people coming in from other countries, the same as we see here or in Norway or a lot of other kind of, you know, well-to-do developed countries. So mm -hmm. getting to see that a little bit more firsthand is interesting. Mm -hmm. and, and getting to draw the parallels between what we see here and what's mm -hmm. happening in like the Southwest and... You know, living in Texas, I, I hear a lot about what's going on at the border and then right. and then seeing that and it's it's just good perspective and it's good to to have conversations with people over there and see how they're really feeling and what their perception is and um, from both sides of it, you know. Yeah. Why why people came over there, what they saw, what they thought it was gonna be like. Right. 